I'm Mike Yuyak. I love to try new things, and I've had culinary adventures all around the world, as well as right at home. I've had really wonderful food, as well as some really horrible food. I'd like to share some of my adventures with you, and we'll see if I have what it takes to fix whatever goes wrong. This is Recipe Redemption. Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of Recipe Redemption. It's hot out for Seattle. I mean, it, it's getting up toward 90, and uh, we get a few days of that every year. It's uncomfortable, it's not unbearable, but it's hot. And so I thought it might be a good idea to delve into the old recipe files and look for another classic summertime refreshing treat. And I found... Carnival cream. Never heard of carnival cream? Me neither before I ran across this recipe. But it's apparently a classic. And it bears looking into. So here we have a recipe where ketchup is one of the main ingredients. And as we saw on the condiment episode, uh, anything where, where ketchup is actually one of the main ingredients uh, it often doesn't lead to good things. But it's simple enough, so we should try it. I mean, it's whipping cream, uh, ketchup, a little bit of sugar, and some vanilla for whatever reason, just, I guess, to make it taste a little bit more desserty and less like whipped cream and ketchup. Um, I'm not going to... It calls for um, finely chopped maraschino cherries and almonds on the top. I'm not going to bother with that. Um, one, because I don't have them. And two, because I don't think... I, I think they're really just... I mean, they're garnish. It's just to make it look pretty. I don't know that it necessarily adds anything to the experience. So, nothing for it, but give it a shot. So for the sake of my sanity, I'm doing a quarter recipe of this. So here is a uh, quarter of a cup of whipped cream, or quarter cup of cream whipped, to which I'm adding a tablespoon of ketchup. Eventually figuring out how to get the ketchup out of the tablespoon. I didn't want to disturb Chris, so I didn't really want to tap it, but... And a few drops of vanilla. I mean, it's supposed to be a sixteenth of a teaspoon, but how do you measure that? And then awkwardly try to remember how to fold <clears throat> the ketchup and whipped cream together. There you go. And eventually it comes together, and I add an egg. Now, a quarter recipe should be three quarters of an egg, but that's, yeah, a little difficult. And that was uh, beaten together with a teaspoon of sugar. And I'm just going to again fold these together and discover that they don't really want to fold together but eventually I get this sort of smooth mixture which I pour into or pour ladle coax coerce into my silicone cup cupcake liners which are sort of my go-to mini molds of choice Some of it actually goes into the silicone molds. Yeah, that's great. And these are going to go into the freezer until frozen good and solid, probably a good two, three hours. <laughs> Carnival cream. The classic summertime treat. Got to work it around. It's not as bad as I was expecting. Um, I think the cream really does help tame down the, the ketchup flavor. So it's not just, you know, 
frozen ketchup. <laughs> Sugar and egg a little bit. Help a little bit. I mean, when you think about it, you have the dairy, you have the egg, you have the sugar. That's kind of like an ice cream base, sort of. Except it wasn't churned. So, this is much, much more dense. But then again, you fold, we folded it with whipped cream. Uh, fairly stiff whipped cream. So that sort of incorporates the air into it. Um, so it's like it was churned, but not. Uh, I don't know that the few drops of vanilla that I added this really do anything. I certainly don't taste it as a distinct, uh, a distinct ingredient. Maybe it adds something, maybe it doesn't. It's not bad. Uh, the tomato flavor is quite muted. So, this is actually pretty inoffensive. My thinking is, if you're gonna make ice cream, make ice cream. <laughs> why, you do, why are you making ketchup ice cream? I don't know. So I think I have an idea of where to take this. It's not really a redemption. This isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But I don't think I really need carnival cream in my life. Um, I don't need a basically a ketchup ice cream in my life, really. Um, however, this idea of using a cream base mixing in uh, savory flavors uh, like ketchup got me to thinking where could you actually use this um, in a different dish so let's see what we can do once again I'm starting off with about a quarter cup of whipping cream that I have whipped to stiff peaks once again I have the tablespoon of ketchup and this time I'm adding a tablespoon of horseradish. Oh yeah, horseradish. And about a teaspoon of lemon juice. And fold to combine. Which again, takes a while. Once that's incorporated and smooth, I'm going to transfer this into my silicone cupcake liners again. And this time, I just want a little dollop in each one, and I want to try and smooth the top as much as I can so I get a nice, even disc at the bottom of the mold. So here we are. Now, for those of you who have been paying attention, uh, I took this basic idea, but I used the ketchup. Instead of adding sugar or anything else, I added horseradish and a little bit of lemon juice. Now, ketchup, horseradish, and a little bit of lemon juice, that's a good start on cocktail sauce. So, you make it up in a fairly thin little puck like so. Um, take a little bit more effort to actually smooth over the top than I did, but let's just say you did. And let's just say that you set this in the middle of a plate like so and then let's say you had some cooked and chilled shrimp that you could set on top now you basically got shrimp cocktail except that the cocktail sauce is what's actually keeping the dish cool instead of having it on a bed of ice or something let's just see how my <laughs> basically cocktail sauce ice cream sort of tastes. Mm. Mm. Zippy. I did not add any sugar to this. Mm. 
So obviously as a result, it is not as sweet as the carnival cream. Does get my salivary glands going. Um, it is not as uh, tangy and zippy as regular cocktail sauce. So it may actually require a little more ketchup, maybe a little bit more on the horseradish as well, um, in proportion to the whipped cream, in order to make this uh, a little bit more pronounced in flavor. But. But it's not bad. It's not bad. And it's an it's an interesting presentation. It's something a little bit different from the norm. Uh, the other thing that you could do with this is actually make a, a, a larger batch of this. Once it's all frozen, <clears throat> once it's all fr frozen solid, take something like a melon baller and scoop small little spheres of this, serve that in basically in like a martini glass and drape the shrimp. Now you have shrimp cocktail, sort of like with uh, dipping dots. <laughs> you have your cocktail sauce dipping dots. Just some ideas to play with. I don't know if any of this will really be uh, practical, but and here I am, I gotta stop that. Here I am eating condiments. <laughs> so, interesting idea. There were some other ideas uh, along these lines that I thought about but just didn't do because of time and, well, actually expense, really. And a little bit on the in the effort. Um, if I made this, if I folded in goat cheese into the whipped cream, you know, soften some goat cheese, fold it in, with uh, some pureed tomato and basil. You could actually make sort of a caprese mousse, frozen caprese mousse that way. You might not even have to freeze it, but um, you know, that was an idea. Another thing is um, doing the whipped cream with lemon and tomato, um, fold that together like I did with the cocktail sauce one but just just lemon and tomato in in there freeze it up into a nice little disc and serve it with um thinly sliced strips of nori and a sprinkling of tobiko the uh, flying fish row on top of it and it would be sort of a it's not really sushi but i don't know what to call it but an amuse bouche <laughs> um it could be an interesting idea, something to play with in the future. But so what do you think um, about carnival cream to begin with? And some of the ideas that I came with to that, that were inspired by carnival cream. Even this recipe comes from eh, mid-century, 50s, 60s. Um, so it is 60, 60 to 70 years old and obviously fairly out of date, uh, out of fashion, shall we say. But the concept is still sound, it still works, and it's not the most horrible thing I've ever eaten. So the technique itself, you can take that and apply it elsewhere, maybe. So I encourage you to go out and do so. Do some experimenting. Take this idea and see what happens, and let me know about it. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe the video. Keep me going. Uh, let me know that there are people out there who are actually watching these. <laughs> that would be great. Other than that, I'll see you next time, and I'd like to thank you for watching. Bye-bye.